What's going on Salt Straw Nation? Today we will be reviewing the Redfish Magic Spinnerbait. This lure's name came up quite a bit in a recent discussion we had about spinnerbaits. The Redfish Magic is a lure that's been used a lot by anglers, especially in dirty water on windy days, and it is actually super effective. I took it out recently, so I'll have some fish catching footage to share with you guys, but I also wanna talk about the pros and cons of this lure and exactly how to use it best, as there are some things you should know before you toss this guy out to try and catch some fish. So let's dive into it now. So to start off with the pros and cons for this lure, if we just take a look at the jig, we'll start seeing some really great quality products. It's got a nice little 1 8 ounce jig head, but they super glue just right out of the package, the head right onto that jig head, so it's really secure on there, and these paddle tails are made with a super tough, it's a lot like that Z-Man Elastec material. These products are made by Strike King, so I know it's not exactly that 10X, but it is a really, really nice tough plastic. Now, something really cool about this lure, this is another pro is you can switch these jig heads out let's say you want a different profile a larger paddle tail or maybe a different jig head it's a little bit heavier or you just want a different color I wanted to replace this with a slam shady on a 1 4 ounce jig head there we go it's just a quick snap right here that is used right on the spinnerbait itself and you can replace it really quickly now looking at the blade it's a nice big fat Colorado blade really gold flash tends to spin really well in the water and I would say verse other spinner blades the willow blades or possibly another Colorado blade. This one has some great curvature, the nice gold in it. As it moves through that dirty water, even if there's a wind that's kind of creating a little bit of noise reduction, this is gonna produce a really nice thump, a really nice buzz as it moves through, and that gold flash is all gonna come together to bring those fish in from a larger range than just, say, the regular jig would on its own. It creates a large presence in the water. Now, I would not use this under any conditions that are really calm, really still. This is great for those dirty water days or those days where there's a lot of wind and you really need to make a nice presence in the water. So this blade itself is a huge pro because it's made very well, got a lot of nice flash to it, really good buzz, and it just thumps through the water and really brings those fish in. Now there is a con when it comes to the blade with that curvature and that fat body. When you're casting this lure, you're not gonna get a whole lot of distance because of the drag that the blade itself is gonna create. And if it catches the wind at a weird angle, it can actually offset your cast, so it's gonna reduce accuracy. So not the furthest casting bait, definitely not as far as just casting a straight aerodynamic jig head, and it's not really gonna be the most accurate because of the possibility of the wind catching the blade itself. Now another point I want to bring up about these blades is they're not super saltwater resistant. This is one that I I had used a long time ago, really for two or three casts, and I put it right back in the tackle box, forgot about it, but you can see it's got a lot of rust on it now, and it's gonna take away from that flash. So when you use these lures, just know that you need to wash them off, or you will build up a little bit of rust, and it'll take away from the flash and the overall performance of the blade itself. Now there are two quick rigging tips that you guys need to know about these spinner baits. The first is that you need to use a snug knot when you use these lures. For 90% of my artificials, I am using a Cray loop knot, but because this is a lure that you use with a constant retrieve, you're gonna need that snug knot. If you had a loop knot, it would just bounce all around. You would not get a good action out of the lure. And when you're using it with a snug knot, you'll know you're using it right if your tip is just buzzing a little bit. Now another thing you need to know, when you're putting on a different jig head, if you put it on the wrong way, uh, what I mean by that is, the hook will sit down this way, and you want the hook to sit facing the blade as that's where the fish are gonna go to strike. So make sure that when you put it on, you put it on with the jig head up facing the blade, and then when you run it back down the jig, it is going to go right into the correct position like that. Now with the pros and cons analyzed, I do wanna show you guys this lure works great on days where it's super windy, super dirty water. We've had a lot of rain here in the Carolinas. It's been super windy. We've got some tropical storms right off of our shorelines. So I took this lure out in 15 to 18 mile an hour winds, and I'm gonna show you guys right now exactly how it did.
most likely a flounder. Oh yeah. On the redfish magic, if you can believe it. Almost didn't even realize I'd got him. Huh, what do you know? All right guys, so that is gonna wrap it up for the Strike King Redfish Magic Spinnerbait. If you guys enjoyed this review, please give it a like and go check out our channel where we do tons of other product reviews like this. And I do wanna reiterate, we're not sponsored by Strike King or any other tackle manufacturer out there. When we do these reviews, we have you, the consumer, in mind. So we show you guys the pros and cons to a product without being paid by any of these guys. We buy it ourselves so you guys can know everything there is to know before you go out and buy these things. And if you do wanna learn more about how to catch more fish, I highly recommend you go check out the Salt Strong Insider community. The Salt Strong Insider Club is the one and only online platform that has courses that will break down the fundamentals of inshore fishing. It'll show you local reports from your area, give you a fishing forecast, and it'll even guarantee that you catch more fish or we will give you your Insider Club subscription free. Plus, with all the discounts you'll be getting on Fishing Tackle that you're probably already buying, the membership really pays for itself. So guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.